Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Windstar cruise experts. And today I have the pleasure of being on the beautiful, recently renovated, refurbished and stretched Star Breeze. This ship is in incredible shape. They have all the new venues here on board. They've upgraded, added quite a few different suite and room options as well for you to choose from. And all of this together embraces the Windstar experience. It's all about destination immersion. With a 300 passenger ship, you can get into those smaller destinations that the big ships simply can't. So you can start your vacation right away and explore the far reaches of our planet. Now I'm gonna to tour every single public space here on board, but before we do, keep in mind when you're ready to book your next rumor suite with Windstar, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We are your Windstar experts. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line and we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now we've started off right here above the pool deck. This is one of those spots, if you've been on the ship before, you can really see how incredible the renovation was. They added an 80 foot plus section right here to the middle of the ship, which allowed them to enhance and expand quite a few public venues here on board. And of course, add the new suites that I spoke about. Now, one of those brand new add-ons is the pool here just behind me. Of course, you've got that infinity edge pool concept and the hot tub right above. Now, wrapped around the pool deck on the upper deck here, you're gonna find those extra comfy loungers that are in the sun. Down below, you'll have more loungers in the sun, and they do have a few that are tucked down below and behind. Now, keep in mind that you're gonna have pool bar service throughout your entire time here on board. They'll be happy to bring you drinks all around. Now, Windstar is all about culinary. They love food, and if you love food, you're gonna love your time here on board. They have a partnership with the James Beard Foundation where they're gonna have some incredibly upgraded dishes throughout. And what you're gonna find is that dedication to culinary expands between the casual and of course the fine dining experiences. The first food scene that we're gonna check out is the Star Grill. Follow along as we tour. Now the menu of the Star Grill was created in cooperation with James Beard Foundation winner, Chef Stephen Reichlin. Now what you're gonna find is all of your favorite rotisseries, smoke and grilled options. Up here, it's all about the meats. In fact, I'm gonna have some dinosaur bones here in just a moment. They have a wide variety of rotisseries. So today you've got some Peruvian rotisserie chicken or some absolutely delicious ribs. Now this is open for lunch and dinner. It's a casual option here on board. They've got a little bit of a buffet style where you can grab and go, but it's really all about those delicious menu items. Now you're gonna have a full bar set up here so you can grab a drink with your friends before or after the meal. You could actually dine right at the bar. But I wanted to point out the most important part of the ship. Now it's not the navigational bridge or the engines or the rudder. It's gotta be the soft serve ice cream. You can have that just about any time of the day. And I'll be back for that in just a few moments. But what you'll find here is a casual al fresco dining experience where you can have some delicious smoked, rotisserie or grilled options right here with the incredible ever-changing ocean views. Now on the port side of the Star Grill, you're gonna find more dining areas here. So it's more of a lounge style seating. So you've got the tables and chairs, the bar, and then finally here you've got the sofas, the individual chairs, they've got the cocktail tables to the side. And you can actually dine from the full menu right here in a more relaxed setting. At the very top of the ship all the way forward, you're gonna find the Yacht Club. This is a nice, comfortable living room area. It's a multi-use space. They've got a great cafe tucked over in the corner. You can get all your favorite espresso and coffee drinks. They're also gonna have some sweets to choose from. In fact, I stopped by there and get a cookie or three or maybe a cupcake every time I manage to walk by. So I stop by there pretty often. So you've got some great treats to choose from. Set all the way around, you're gonna find these tables and chairs. That perfect place for a nice cup of coffee and take advantage of the floor to ceiling, 180 degree views in here. Now tucked over in the corner, you're gonna find the puzzle and game corner. Now this ship travels all over the world. It has some of the longer crossings across the Pacific, other parts of the world as well. And what's great is it's that perfect place to have a game or a puzzle. So you can start a puzzle here. People will play throughout out as you go. Of course, you can also come up here and stay until it's completed if you prefer. I love that they have a lot of great social games as well. You've got Scrabble and Monopoly, Risk, Mahjong, Chess, Checkers. So you're sure to find someone who wants to play a competitive game with you. Now, right in the middle is essentially your living room. You've got these really comfy sofas and chairs here, beautiful decor as you find throughout the ship. And you're also gonna have two large TVs. There's two on this side and on the other. And what that's gonna allow you to do is they can kind of turn this into a multi-use venue. So maybe there's a major sporting event going on or something else, they can show that right here. 
Now this is also the library. So all the way wrapped around, you have these beautiful shelves. You can see right through, so you get the light to come all the way through. But what you have is a large reference library. You also have some great fiction and nonfiction books for you to choose from. You can come up and utilize those anytime that you'd like. Now, right at the very front, you're gonna have more tables and chairs. You also have these great intimate seating nooks. And one of the things that's wonderful about the design of this ship is that you also have a deck outside. So if you're cruising in Alaska in the glaciers, for example, or you're in one of the scenic parts of Tahiti, you can utilize this space and step on outside as you're taking in those incredible views, maybe capturing the photo of the whale or one of the incredible volcanoes. So once again, the Yacht Club is your home away from home. It's your casual dining room and living room of sorts where you can come up, grab a coffee, a snack, grab your favorite book, or my wife likes to utilize it as her sewing room. Now, one of the things that I really appreciate here on board is the open bridge policy. It really sets Windstar apart from quite a few of their competitors. It's all about destination immersion. And in this case, the wheelhouse here is the destination in and of itself. Now, part of the massive renovation of the ship is they completely replaced the engine. It's now an eco-friendly engine, and on top of it, they can get to a lot more destinations. So they can carry more fuel, and then of course, with the larger engine, the more power, they can get to all of the exotic parts of our entire world. Now, up here, if you do visit the bridge, they've got a great seating area, so you can sit, have a cup of coffee, take in the beautiful views. Of course, you can get to know the first officer and the captain. They're here, and they're happy to share this experience with you. In fact, one of the really cool things right here, they're gonna have a whale chart. They just finished up cruising in Alaska. They're getting ready to head to Tahiti now. And so when you head up here, that might be a perfect spot to visit some wildlife. Now, as you walk through the bridge, of course, it has all of the modern equipment. They updated quite a bit of the equipment when they did the massive renovation here. There are the two chairs for the captain and the first officer as they're going in and out of port. Now, keep in mind, they also are gonna have the ability to control the ship from the sides of the ship outside. That's usually what they're doing when they're docking, but right here is where they're gonna spend most of the time. Now, you've got all the different flags that represent where they visit up top there. You've got the logs. Of course, they still have the paper charts in addition to all of the digital charts here. It's got everything that a modern ship would have, and they're happy to share it with you. And of course, it all enhances that learning experience that makes Windstar so unique. Now, at the very front of the ship, you're gonna find another sun deck and jacuzzi hot tub. So this is one of those spots that a lot of people don't find until later on throughout the cruise. It's one of my favorites where you can tuck away. You've got loungers wrapped all the way around with the cocktail tables in between. And of course, right at the very front, you're gonna find the jacuzzi hot tub. So this is a great place to come if you wanna get some sun or a soak. But the other thing that I really love about this is that you're right here at the very front of the ship. So when you're cruising through some of the scenic areas, this is another phenomenal place to be because from here, you actually have nothing in front of you. You can walk all the way to the very, very front of the ship. And if you and your spouse wanna recreate your own Jack and Rose moment, this is the perfect spot for that. But you can imagine sailing through the glaciers in Alaska, standing right here at the very front of the ship or down in Tahiti, looking at the incredible mountain ranges as you sail by. This is a phenomenal option. And once again, a lot of people don't find it until later on in the cruise. Now we just headed into the lobby of the World Spa. So right here is the check-in desk. I definitely recommend that you stop day, by your first day here on board. They're gonna provide complimentary tours, and then of course they can schedule your treatments. They've got all your favorites to choose from, from massages to facials, and they also have a full salon. Now just behind, you're gonna find that they have some retail options here. So if you wanna stock up, they have all of your favorite duty-free items. Now, as we head through the lobby right around the corner, you're gonna find the men's and women's changing rooms. So there'll be lockers in there, you can change into your robe, and then you can start your journey. That journey is gonna start right here in the relaxation room. So you have four loungers in here, beautiful ambient light, and then they're gonna have the cold towels underneath, and they'll refresh this with some different infused waters. The idea with the relaxation room is where you'll come in, fill out just a little bit of paperwork so that you can let your therapist know about your wants and your needs to get the perfect treatment. It's also that place where you can get in the chill mindset, the relaxed Zen mindset, so you can be ready for that incredible treatment. Now, as we head further into the spa, we're gonna find the thermal suite area. Now, something that's unique for Windstar, you don't really find that with other cruise lines, is this is all complimentary for all guests. So first off, you're gonna have four stone loungers. They have aromatherapy in here, so they're gonna have the diffusers, some beautiful flower options, but this is a great place to come and relax. I've had some back issues for quite a while. These are heated and they're ergonomic. It's a great place to go and relax the full body. Now there's essentially the ability to do some different stations. 
So as we head further in, I wanted to point out, you've got your Quasar water here. So this is filtered water. You can refill your own cups or bottles anytime that you'd like. And in the treatment room area, you're gonna have a steam room and directly across, you'll find a sauna. Once again, you can go back and forth between the two. And then you also have a full Swiss shower experience in here. You've got a large rainfall shower head up above, all the side jets as well. So you can have that nice cool or warm experience. You can work between the different zones here and then head on out and enjoy an incredible day. So now I'm just inside one of the four treatment rooms here on board. As I mentioned, they have a wide variety of options for you to choose from. One of my all time favorites is the hot stone massage, but also after a nice long trip, maybe on an airplane, getting to my destination, having one of the bamboo massages or deep tissue can go a long way. Now they have all of your favorite wraps, like a seaweed wrap for detoxification. You have different facial options. And something that I really appreciate is that they have a doctor here on board dedicated to Chinese medicine. So you'll be able to do acupuncture and cupping and things along those lines. Now, as somebody who's dealt with pain my entire life, that's a really big relief to me when I come on board, maybe do three or four excursions to be able to come back on board and do something that I do at home is wonderful here on board Windstar. So now I just stepped into the full service salon here on board. Now they have a wide variety of options to choose from here as well. Whether you want a revolutionary new hairstyle or you just want to get done up to head out and enjoy the ship or the world, you can do that right here. You'll see that they have a partnership with Keristis from Paris, so they have the top quality ingredients. On this side, you're gonna find a couple hair stations and the hair wash station in the middle. As we continue along, you're gonna find the station for manicures and pedicures. I love that they have that nice oversized massager there. Of course, the basin comes out and it's even big enough for my size 15 feet. I love that. If I learned anything from boot camp, it's always take care of your feet, especially when you're traveling. Now, right around the corner, you're gonna find the barber shop. So they also have a wide variety of treatments for gentlemen to choose from, whether it's a shave and a facial, or you just wanna come on in for a haircut, they've got something for everyone. Just aft of the spa, you're gonna find the fitness center. In here, you'll find all of the equipment that you would at a gym at home. You've got a rowing machine tucked in the corner to complement the different aerobic exercises. You're gonna have ellipticals and treadmills on the far side here. And then wrapped all the way around, you're gonna find circuit equipment. So you can go from each part of the body to work out and then go back and of course, enjoy the incredible relaxation room and the thermal suite. Now you're also gonna find different dumbbells and some barbells in here as well. So you've got the bench for the free weights, you've got some yoga mats tucked over in the corner. One of the things that I really appreciate about Windstar is all the little touches. In the corner there, you're gonna find a fridge with the cold towels. It's that perfect complement to a workout. Now, in addition to all the different equipment here, they're also gonna have an aerobic studio. Let's head across and check it out. Now, they're gonna have a variety of classes for you to choose from. They also do personal training. So they have some that come at an additional cost and some that are complimentary. Now, today being boarding day, people are coming down, signing up for those for the very first time, getting a little bit more education about what it's all about. Now, in the aerobic studio here, you've got mirrors on the far wall so they can do different yoga classes you can do different aerobics classes as well as well you can also utilize these anytime i love the idea that they have all these foam rollers for me personally when i travel having one of those to stretch out all the different muscles really goes a long way you've got yoga mats and of course weighted balls down there at the bottom more of those cold towels and you'll find that this is a continuation of that wellness concept here on board now winstar's partnership with the james beard foundation is one of a kind they take their culinary scene very, very seriously. They do an incredible job. So in addition to having James Beard chefs that will inspire and of course create dishes for the menu that you're gonna dine right here on board, you're also gonna have some special edition cruises where they'll bring those chefs on board. They're gonna create culinary masterpieces and then they're gonna utilize those same recipes to enhance their menu throughout. They're dedicated to providing the best food in the entire industry. And right now we're actually heading into Veranda, which doubles as both the casual dining option and one of the specialty restaurants. Let me show you what it's all about. Now, as we head into Veranda, you're gonna have a coffee station right here to the side. So if you have all your favorite espresso style drinks, a cappuccino, a latte, my favorite Americano, you can start your morning right here. Now you're gonna have your first buffet set up here. Usually in the afternoon, this is gonna be a salad bar. In the morning, you might find fruits and things along those lines, but it wraps all the way around. Now, as we head forward, you're gonna see that there's seating areas on both sides. You're gonna have a ramp down here. You've got tables for two and a booth for four. And then as we head further forward, you're gonna find your hand washing station. And then we're gonna get into the main part of the buffet. 
Now they're just setting it up here for lunch in a few minutes. We wanted to get this space while it was nice and pristine. You can see all along here, you've got the different buffet lines. They have cook to order options as well. So you can imagine for breakfast, they're gonna have egg stations, made to order options. And then as they progress throughout lunch, you're gonna have more options here like paninis and sandwiches, but you have a wide variety to choose from and you can see the buffet wraps all the way around. Now in the front space here, you're gonna have indoor and outdoor dining. You've got tables for two and four here. So really nice and relaxed atmosphere. If you have a little bit of inclement weather, you've got those floor to ceiling windows so you can take advantage of those incredible views. Now I mentioned breakfast and lunch. For dinner, this turns into candles, which is their steakhouse here on board. Another complimentary inclusion that you can take advantage of while you're here. Now I love this indoor dining area, but for me, it's all about dining al fresco. Let's head on outside. So now we've stepped out on the aft terrace here. You'll see that they have tables for two wrapped all the way around the glass partitions. You also have tables for four and six right here in the middle. Now my favorite place to be on any cruise ship is the very aft of the ship. My favorite way to dine is al fresco. So to me, having a steakhouse experience here in the evening is lovely. Also starting your day with some eggs and a nice juice right here as well is the perfect place to start. Once again, this is the more casual dining option, breakfast and lunch is buffet. And in the evening for dinner, you're gonna find Candle Steakhouse. Now this beautiful space was added on during the recent renovation. This is Quadro 44 by Chef Anthony Sasso. So once again, this is that partnership with the James Beard Foundation where you have an incredible chef who has designed a journey through Spain. You're gonna find dishes from all around the Iberian Peninsula. Of course, you see the Iberico ham over there on the side, but they have a large variety of tapas, so you can have a lot of small dishes. And then as you progress through the menu, you're gonna have a variety of entrees. I really love that they have seafood. Of course, they have steaks. And then they're also going to have some fantastic vegetarian options as well. The Moroccan cauliflower was surprisingly absolutely delicious. But for me, it's always about dessert. Churros with chocolate make me turn around and feel like I'm right in Madrid at my favorite cafe. Now the space itself, you can see it has that open kitchen concept. So you can have those smells, they come right in, they're totally intoxicating as soon as you enter the space. You've got a nice large table right here if you're dining with a larger group. And one of my favorite spots to sit is actually right there at the countertop. So you can watch them prepare the food, watch the food get expedited out, and of course have all the deliciousness. Right by the entryway, they have a wine fridge and they also have a large variety of wine for you to choose from. Of course, all the sommeliers here on board know how to pair perfectly with all of the dishes. So whether you're looking for something brand new to you or your classic favorite, they're sure to have it here on board and pair it perfectly. Now, as we continue through the space, you're also gonna have these booth style seatings over here that can hold up to four. You also have more tables for two and four. Now it's truly an intimate space. This is a complimentary option here on board and you're gonna have the option to at least dine here once. Now on some of the longer cruises, you can dine at the specialty restaurants more than once, but you're gonna love every single restaurant option here on board, all taking advantage of the incredible culinary team. Now one of the biggest differences for those who've cruised on this beautiful ship before is Amphora Restaurant. So it's much larger. That's the first thing that you'll notice. Beautiful decor, of course. You've got the booth style seatings here tucked in the corner around the middle. So you've got tables for four. You've got tables for two down the middle as well and on the sides. And of course they can accommodate larger groups. Now Amphora is primarily the dinner restaurant here on board. You're gonna have some incredible cuisine to choose from. Every single night, they'll have a special dish that highlights a James Beard Foundation winning chef in addition to having an incredible dessert as well. Now you have all the classics to choose from, whether it's that Alaskan salmon, maybe you want a steak or some chicken, you can have that each and every single night, but they're gonna have a rotational menu as well. So in addition to those James Beard Foundation choices, you're gonna have quite a few options to choose from each and every single day, from the entrees, to the appetizers, to the absolutely delectable desserts and cheeses. Now, what I did wanna mention is sometimes they'll utilize this for breakfast and lunch. Each cruise is slightly different. And another really cool option is you can generally order off of this menu and have it at room service for dinner. So if you're looking for an incredible dinner here on board, Amphora is a perfect spot for you. So now we're just inside the beautiful Compass Rose Lounge. This is a diverse lounge offering here. You're gonna have the full bar just behind there. They'll open it up here in just a few minutes. You've got quite a few different areas for seating. So you've got tables for two, the large sofas here where you can have a more social setting, and then little nooks where you can gather with friends. 
Now, what I really appreciate about this particular space is all of the windows. So you have 180 degree wraparound windows here. It's that perfect place to sit if you're looking at some of the scenic parts of our world. And one of the great touches is you can actually step out on either side. There's a small balcony that'll go up the stairs, but you can step out and take photos. Now I mentioned that you've got the bar and of course the bar service. This is also the entertainment lounge here on board. So in the evening, they'll have live entertainment. They'll also utilize this for different things during the day as well. But primarily this is that place where you go, sit back and relax, have a cocktail, enjoy some music, and maybe even some dancing right here on the dance floor. In fact, right on the dance floor there, you can see the beautiful Compass Rose and all of the fantastic upgrades. Now this space is the newly expanded Star Boutique. Now the reason people like to shop on board a cruise ship is the duty-free pricing. When you're out in international waters, they don't have to charge any tax or duty, which oftentimes can save you quite a bit of money. You have a variety of cosmetics and perfumes, so maybe you wanna stock up on those things that you always use at home. They also have a wide variety of L'Occitane that you can choose from. Of course, you're gonna love using those here on board the ship. And then when you get home, you're gonna to wanna to have those for there as well. Now tucked in the corner, you've got sunglasses, different kinds of clothing items, some sundries, maybe you left your sunscreen at home. You've got that to choose from. And then as we head further around, you're gonna find more clothing options. So you've got some logo wear for Windstar, and then also lots of different options to choose from, from the swimwear all the way to jackets. Now tucked around the corner here, you're gonna find the Star Collection. And in here, you'll have all the different jewelry and watches. Once again, duty can be a big part of the cost of purchasing jewelry or watches at home. And Windstar does have some guarantees that they offer for you here on board. So whether you wanna spoil your partner with a brand new ring or a necklace, maybe you wanna stock up and get a brand new watch yourself, they've got a wide variety for you to choose from. Now as we head aft on deck five, you're gonna find several passenger services areas. Now the very first one is destination services. This is your shore excursions desk. Now we definitely recommend that you book all your shore excursions in advance, but they're here to answer all of your questions. They can make recommendations, they can provide details, and many times they've been on the excursions themselves, so they're a wealth of knowledge that they can share for you. Now as we continue further along the central staircase, you're gonna find the reception desk. So the reception desk is where you're gonna access the purser. So if you have anything to do with money, any questions about your room, they're here and happy to assist you. Now I always recommend that you stop by middle of the cruise because the first day and the last day does get a little bit more crowded as people are settling their bills or asking their initial questions. Now this space is the screening room. It's used for all kinds of different things. Right now it's set up for a screening. They have an extra large flat panel TV here. They can show movies. Of course, they also will have lectures in here where you can learn about different things. They'll do different crafts. All throughout your cruise, they're gonna utilize this for all kinds of different purposes. The other thing that it's used for is meetings. Now with hard travel, we do a lot of different meetings and incentives. Maybe you wanna do some continuing education here on board. This is the perfect spot for that. They also have a couple backgammon tables back there so you can utilize this as a reading room throughout the day. You can also utilize it as a game room. Just after the passenger services area, you're gonna find the lounge. Now this is the main entertainment lounge here on board. They're gonna bring on entertainment in the local areas that you visit. Of course, they're gonna have entertainers here throughout your time on board and also phenomenal lectures. Windstar is all about destination immersion. It's about getting to know the areas that you're visiting. So they bring on some incredible lectures that can give you insight, whether it's Tahiti or you're going to Australia, New Zealand, wherever you're going on this incredible ship, you're gonna learn about the destination and then you're gonna step out and experience it. Now it's set up in stadium style seating here. So towards the back, you're gonna see they have couches wrapped all the way around. You've got more here, and then you have it set up with theater style seating where you're gonna have individual chairs. So as you step down, you're gonna have a view from the back and moving forward as well. So once again, this is the spot where you're gonna head when they do the main entertainment here on board. Of course, all the educational lectures, and they'll even use it to check you in. Now this ship is gonna visit some incredible destinations and not all of them have a cruise terminal. So this is where they can bring you on board, have a nice relaxing sit. They can check you in for the cruise and you can start enjoying right away. Now at the very aft of the ship, you're gonna find one of my favorite features of this ship and any ship in the entire world. You're gonna have a water sports marina platform. So the back of the ship will actually fold down. They can fold down on the sides as well. And right here in the middle, you're gonna find all the different expedition style ribs. So these are rigid inflatables. So essentially they can take you into all those incredible destinations that this ship visits. Maybe it's on an excursion, maybe it's just a landing, but in addition to all of that, they're gonna have a full variety of complimentary water sports for you to choose from. They have motorized water sports. Of course, you can go snorkeling, kayaking. They have stand-up water paddle boards as well. There's a wide variety to choose from. 
but this is an incredibly diverse vessel. You're gonna be able to head out and enjoy the destinations in a way that no larger ship truly can, and it's all because of that fantastic marina just behind me. First off, thank you so much for spending your time with us today here on board the beautiful Star Breeze. You can see why this intimate vessel is a favorite of so many of our customers as you cruise through the incredible parts of the world that only a ship of this size can access. Even though it is on the smaller side, it has big amenities from the spa and fitness center to the incredible specialty restaurants and all of the amazing James Beard Foundation partnerships with dining. They're gonna bring on local entertainment and they're gonna get you involved in the places that you visit. It's all about education, fine service, and of course, that incredible food. When you're ready to make Windstar your home away from home, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We are your Windstar experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line, and we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way.